Hey guys, David with 365cloudtech.com. I wanted to do a quick review on the Sony Vio Duo 11 Ultrabook. Uh, this is a tablet, uh, tablet laptop convertible pretty much. Uh, see, you basically have your full tablet form like this and then it will actually can convert up to a laptop with a nice little, little keyboard sitting out here. Uh, so let me show you some of the stuff on the side of it. We got a VGA port, SD card, and a headphone jack on the left side. On, on the top, we got a DC power in for the power cable. We got a Ethernet jack uh, right here. It uh, has gigabit Ethernet in it, and since it slides out like that, they got little legs that will stand it up, so this isn't actually touching the ground. Um, on the, the right side, we got the power button, HDMI, and two USB 3.0s. And on the bottom, where the base is, we got the uh, volume and a screen lock. So like when you're tilting it, the screen will actually lock. And then an assist button. I have no idea what that does, but it sounds pretty awesome if you ask me. <laughs> and then we got uh, four LEDs, power, uh, charging, and uh, hard drive and wireless. All right. And then we got just the front front button for Windows here. So let me go ahead and boot this bad boy up, and we'll take a look at it. It's about three pounds. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but... Uh, Let's take a look at this. So it's booting up right now. It takes about four seconds to boot up, so I'm, I'm very impressed with it. And we're already in. <clears throat> Alright, so this interface, this is the Windows 8 Start Menu interface. This is what you'll see on a Windows 8 PC when you log in, too. Uh, so this is basically a full-blown uh, laptop. It runs uh, on an Intel i5. Um, it has 6 gigs of RAM in it, and uh, it's an Ivy Bridge processor by Intel. Alright, so just, just look, taking a first glance at it in the start, start menu. Uh, normally it's a lot longer, but I've already thinned it down to kind of what I want on it. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, I, I really like how smooth it is. There's like no frame drops at all in it. Uh, some of the Windows app applications that are already in here, I, I mean, just pulling up a calendar. This is synced with an Exchange account I have for work. So it's got my calendar in there, and then uh, get back into the start menu, just this little weather app, just, just everything opens very, very snappy, very smooth, uh, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, to close apps on this, so if you have something open, you just drag from the top to bottom, it'll, it'll grab the app and cl close it. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, a quick glance at the start menu here. Uh, they have a built-in music player, which is actually pretty cool. We get a random ad every once in a while, but it's free music. So I'll kind of give you a quick demo of the audio on here. Play some Adele. Uh, so that's what we got up. Uh, another cool thing on here. Actually, let's take a look at the speakers first. So we got uh, these little speakers here on the, on the left and right. Uh, they're they're pretty good for the size. I'm I'm impressed with it. Uh, you can't really expect much out of laptop speakers, though, just because of the way they're designed and how how small they have to be to fit in there. Uh, they ha it comes with a built-in uh, Dolby software that will uh, change the equalizer to make uh, if you're gaming, if you're watching movies, or if you're listening to music. It has three different settings built in for that, so you can set those as presets to whatever you're doing on it. Uh, let's go ahead and I will show you, you the desktop. So I got a full blown desktop here. Uh, and with uh, Windows 8, when you sign in with your live ID, your background and, uh, and some of your settings will all follow you. Uh, like if you use anything. Let's see. I uh, forget that. Anyways, uh, yeah, so your your background will follow you if you log on on the different uh, Windows 8 machines with your credentials. You actually, the cloud service actually tra makes it transparent and you'll get this same background on, say, your desktop computer and uh, what else? Uh, all your uh, Internet Explorer links as well will also, like all your favorites and stuff will be saved through the cloud and synced between your Windows 8 devices, which is uh, pretty cool. I'll do a quick browser demo here. Um, I'll uh, whip this out to the keyboard. So the keyboard's backlit. Um, I have no complaints about the keyboard except for the very first time I used it, where the space spacebar is placed and it's small. I I naturally wanted to put my my thumb on the uh, left and right clickers here, but after about a day's use, uh, it was fine. I never had that issue again while I was typing. Let's take a look at, uh, I'll do a quick browser demo. Go to Amazon.com. 
trying to get it so you can actually see it good on the camera. So it's very smooth scrolling through the site. You can, uh, in Internet Explorer, you can zoom in, you can move it all around. You can zoom in back out. Uh, everything's very smooth. The, vi the video quality is really good on this. It's got a, it runs in 1080p, so 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution, and it's uh, very good. Um, for tabbing through uh, stuff off, so I got my desktop right, right here to tab back into, like, say, my music that's running in, in the background. You go on the left side and you just slide it out, out, and that will tab through whatever you have open. So anything based off of the start menu here that you open. So, so say you open the uh, weather, tab through, go to music, desktop, weather, because we have it open. But then just to close it, you slide it from top to bottom, and then uh, get back into desktop. Uh, another cool thing I really like about this is the, say we're in music here, we want to see what we're listening, we're listening to on the side. You just pull it to the side, then you have all this, uh, all this real estate over here to play with with your desktop. So, so basically have your music player here on the right. You can put it on either side, whichever whichever you prefer. But uh, most of the apps you can just grab and you can throw to e either side and uh, still have your desktop. And it, I, that's a really cool feature, I like it. You can also open, uh, say, another application. Uh, open people or something like that, there you go. There you go. So you can scroll through your people, etc., etc. And you can still tab through it on whatever you have your main desktop screen on, which is really cool. Uh, let's do a let's do a demo of Word. Word. Uh, I love how snappy the uh, all the programs load. It's a 128 gigabyte processor or uh, hard drive. Excuse me, solid state. Um, I'll do a written demo. Uh, in Word here, so I'll do some handwriting. It's going to do some handwriting recognition and try and basically parse out what I was trying to write. So I'll do the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I have terrible handwriting, so if it can recognize that, I will be thoroughly impressed. And the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So I basically hit every letter in the uh, alphabet uh, flawless the first time through. Um, let me show you the digitizer now. So, stylus and digitizer, I'll do some drawing. Let me just delete what I got in here. Whip out the pen tool. I'll do a demo. Uh, I'm just going to do a light touch across the screen. And then I'll do a light to pressing a little bit harder. And I'll just do a hard one. And you can see the dem see the uh, differences in the line. So but it's pressure sensitive, so it tells how uh, how thick you want it to be, or if you want it to just be. Uh, sorry, trying to get that adjusted so you see it. Uh, there we go. You can see that a little bit better. So it's got a thin line, a thin to thick, and then a fully thick line. Uh, it's uh, set. So it recognizes that really good. I like, I mean, if you just want doodle, put your name in it, etc. It's just really cool. Uh, it has really good recognition, and uh, the pressure sensitivity is awesome. That's uh, one thing I really like about this as well. Um, let me see, see what else we cover. The, uh, the battery life on this is about four and a half hours out of the box. Um, that's with moderate usage. Uh, from a full charge. Uh, I don't really have too many complaints about that because of it's it's you're you're using a full blown laptop here essentially, so it's running Windows 8. Um, very impressed with it. I did a lot of streaming on it. I I did uh, probably over moderate usage on it, and I got about four and a half hours out of it. Um, the speed applications load. I'll go ahead and pump up a bunch of applications here. Just go ahead and click through five different applications, and bam, they're already all up. So, let's see. Uh, I'll show you a reboot now. So, right side, power, restart. See so how quick, quick it restarts and gets back into your desktop. So, restarting right now. And starting back up.
just like that, we are going to be back in our desktop. And then we just pump open a bunch of applications. Solid state is super snappy. Very impressed with it. Uh, I love this device. Uh, a lot of people have complaints about the slider here. I have no complaints about it. It feels very sturdy. Um, people have said it screen rattles and everything. It definitely does not feel rickety at all. Uh, let me show you the mechanic here on the side. So, I mean, you get a pretty good look at it, how it comes back and then just holds itself up. And then when you're writing on it, it feels, feels fine. I have no issues with that. And then just to pull it down, it just has a little last snap in for the top. And then you pull it up. There you go. And then uh, to do a screen lock, uh, you just pull it out, you go into settings, and then where it, where it says screen here, you just hit that, and there's like a little rotate button here, and at the top, top, you just hit that, and it puts a little lock on it, on it, so now, when you go upside down, upside down it'll just stay in, in the same way, way that you had it initially. Um, I like to keep that on, just because I don't want it to flip around, uh, I like my, uh, 1080p resolution right here. Uh, the video quality is very good on this. Uh, they have a demo of Skyfall on here. Let me see if I can get that up real quick. Maybe I don't think you'll be able to see it very well in the video, but just humor myself. Let's see. <clears throat> of course, my my camera is recording in at 1080p or not. Uh, 1080p, but uh, 30, uh, 30 frames per second, and so it's not going to be running at the full frames that this is at. It's very good. There's no blur at all on the screen. I mean, so the the quality is very good. I, lo I love the color contrast. I'm very impressed with this device. I have no no complaints at all. So uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's the quick and dirty demo of the Sony Vio Duo 11 Ultrabook. Uh, Sound quality already covered that. I already did the stylus. I think we're we're pretty set for this. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, and I will uh, do my best to get back to you. Uh, for the pros and cons, let me just cover those real quick. Uh, the pros, well, I just freaking I love this device. This device is amazing. The only complaints I have is there's no stock stylus holder on the actual device here. Just because all the, the hardware they had, to, they had to compact into here, here, and I mean, I can't really <laughs> to to even add a stylus holder in here. It would just it would just add add too much length to it. It just wouldn't make sense. So, what Sony decided to do, it looks like in the kit you can order separately, separately through Sony. It has a little stylus holder here on the side, uh, and also if you get the the extended battery, which I don't have one right in front of me to demo, it actually clips right in. You pull off this little tab right here. And then uh, it connects as a se second battery in there, so your uh, your Windows will actually recognize it as there's two batteries in there. It'll tell you what the charges are on both of them, um, and it just snaps in, doesn't impede. It has a little slant on it, but it actually has a stylus holder in it, so it'll be uh, it'll be a good choice there if you want to get either the case or the extended battery. You can uh, throw the stylus on there, and uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Alrighty, have a good one, everyone.